Hello there, friends and RC family. My name is Alec from High Noon Hobbies, and if you're new to this channel, I very much appreciate you checking it out. I hope that you will stick around, watch this video, at least see if this content seems worth your while, and consider subscribing so that then I can say to you, if you aren't new here, welcome back to yet another relaxed Sunday upload. This time we're taking a look at a four-wheel steer unlimited class class three unlimited class run from the north versus south utah rc crawling championship this is going to be luke or scumbag rc in his beautifully painted rig painted by donut boy rc i'll leave a link to his instagram down in the description as well he is absolutely killing it on these paint jobs lately but uh, I figured that uh, you guys might enjoy a little bit of Class 3 action from the North vs. South Finals since we haven't gotten any yet. And I saw that Logan posted a video of Thomas's Class 3 run with the MOA. So if you want an interesting comparison on Class 3 of the North vs. South Utah RC Crawling Championship, you want to see an MOA and a uh, the, the differences, maybe the contrast comparison between an MOA rig and a four-wheel steer g-shot this is a g-speed g-shot with the uh, capra front steering axles on the front and rear so if you want to see a good comparison between those two trucks go ahead and check this video out and then check out logan's video over at west desert wheeler i'll leave a link to his channel down in the description as well but let's get uh let's get right into it shall we all right, here we are back at the beautiful Three Peaks Recreation Area in near Cedar City, Utah. If you're interested in checking out any awesome scale or full-size crawling, I definitely recommend checking out this area. It is full of fantastic rock structures and just beautiful scenery in general. You can see in the background some nice forested areas. There's a lot of uh, juniper tree cover as well as some bigger trees. So if you're looking for something that's wind, and sun protected this is a great area just in general i definitely recommend checking this spot out but we are back with the g speed g shot built by luke or scumbag rc luke from scumbag rc a favorite here on the channel and he's gonna be running through he's really been getting the hang of this four wheel steer thing so we're gonna be watching him hit this trail hit this uh 10 gate with his four wheel steer now that he's got a little bit of drive time behind it now unfortunately that second gate didn't go too super well for him but that is very common i've seen a lot of competitors have trouble with that second gate as they end up getting their bellies hung up and just the way that it is canted to the passenger side that second gate wants to swing your rear axle into that lower cone which is what happened to luke there he's taken the upper approach for this third gate which is an interesting one most competitors came from the lower section and kind of just squared up to that v-notch section luke taking the upper approach made it look relatively easy that is a nasty side hill 
but by using his rear steer he was able to keep his rear axle above his front axle but he was also able to kind of just gingerly crab walk his way over without uh without uh unsettling the suspension and he ended up making it through gate three no super clean gate number four there as you can see that nasty dip not a problem at all for a g shot because they've got such ridiculous approach and departure angles it really just gets right in there and it's not a problem whatsoever now we are skipping the bonus gate here uh, and we're headed straight into the upper gate here as you can see this is i believe gate number five this is a very very nasty notch that is a super super sideways approach into a transition that pushes you over to the passenger side down the hill while your truck or while you are trying to make your way driver side up to the top of the hill so as you can see here the beginning of the transition you really need to get that that passenger side front tire in the crack as you can see luke just did there which allows your truck to kind of track along this crack and you can see he's using the rear wheel steer there to push his rear axle out as he kind of just tracks forward with the front what this is going to do is this is going to resettle that front suspension as you can see it's pushing back up the wall now and now he can give it just even a little bit more rear to start pulling that front up giving a lot of pressure to that driver side front tire and he pulls his front through the gate now he's just got to get the rear through the gate he keeps the tires a little bit upwards as he makes his uh, as he gets his driver side rear tire up the hill but then he points the rear straight as he pulls the rest of the truck through the gate very very well done Luke that is a complicated series of steps to get yourself through that clean and you managed it fantastically there with no winch necessary you don't obviously don't have a winch but no winch necessary that was some great drive in there and uh, just a really really impressive show so I hope you all enjoyed that one and great job Luke now going over I believe this is gate number six just a nasty little descent and really it's all about setup there you could see that Luke was using his rear driver's side tire to kind of anchor himself into that crack as he comes down into the descent saw a lot of competitors do that wasn't too difficult but uh, it definitely can turn nasty quickly hello pup how you doing <laughs> but it can definitely turn nasty quickly and he managed to keep everything settled and under control it's definitely a, a managing wheel speed moment there now we're going for the second bonus here this second bonus i'm not getting a great angle on it uh, it forces you to avoid a lower cone off there to the driver's side and as you can see luke is doing what you should be doing there to do so which is uh using his rear axle and pushing over to the passenger side and he was going to try to basically crab up a, a portion of the wall at least uh, and then start his way kind of through the center of that gate unfortunately he ends up tapping that cone on the passenger side there and that is just again another belly clearance issue that's something that you kind of really have to watch where your belly is hanging and you would think that a g-speed g-shot would uh would you know have the belly clearance you need to get through some of these obstacles but not all of them there are definitely some nasty belly hangers even for the more competitive trucks in this series Heading through gate nine now with a four... 59 coming up on a five minutes right now we've hit two gates so we're at a 20 unfortunately we don't have any bonuses to get so really now it's a game of getting through the rest of this course clean we only have one more gate to get through but as long as you know this isn't uh as long as we don't do anything too treacherous here we should be in good shape we're going to this was one of my favorite features of these courses coming along underneath this little ledge here along the cliff side and then dropping your truck down on the far side here wrapping around to the left hand side or to the uh if the, the way that we're looking at it now to the driver's side we're going to pull ourselves across and over to gate 10 this one is a nasty drop and it's very 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 <laughs> as you can see it's very undercut so you really just have to plan where you're going to drop yourself over and make sure that it's right in the right spot unfortunately the way that luke is coming in here he's coming a bit too far in on the passenger side and now he's committed you can see the truck settle down it uh, it just dropped a bit and that really is a good indication that you have lost the traction that you need to be able to pull your truck up completely and you're really committed to the downward motion motion at this point so that's where he 
is now. And you can see what I'm saying. He's way too far to the passenger side. The, the idea of crab walking over, I think, was actually a really good one. But he probably should have just been a couple of inches over to the driver's side when he started that movement. So here he's trying to fight this ledge that's sucking his front, uh, pa or his front tires in. But he's really now trying to use it to his advantage. You can see he's going to actually take the next about minute and a half or minutes uh, here. Just about a minute. Less than a minute now. And he's going to just try to wiggle the servo back back and forth and drop the tires down into that undercut section there of this cliff so that he can get the space that he needs between his truck and that cone to uh, push as far to the driver's side as he possibly can which each, with each one of these movements. And he's getting really, really close here, but he's taking a decent amount of time, but that's okay. This is the last gate. All we need to do is get through here. So we would really just take as much time as possible to get through here. And you can see it's just not quite working out. Now, the idea of getting uh, as far over as possible I think that we've basically determined that we are or he is as far over to the driver's side as he's possibly going to get with that ledge and unfortunately he ends up just tapping this gate number 10 cone right here in just a moment and that's going to be the end of this run definitely not a bad run by any means finishes up just underneath a 730 with a 30 and that is quite impressive for these unlimited courses these were some of the tougher unlimited courses that i had seen in my well i guess short comp career so far but nonetheless i thought that these were some very challenging obstacles to get through let me know what you think in the comment section down below did you enjoy my little synopsis of this four-wheel steer run do you prefer a four-wheel steer truck or do you prefer uh, a drag axle truck you let me know you let me know in the comment section down below i'm interested i'm curious Curious to find out what you think and uh, besides that that's all I've got for you guys today enjoy the rest of your Sunday I hope you get some crawling in this Sunday and uh, happy Father's Day everyone that's uh that's pretty cool We're, you know it's Father's Day time enjoy enjoy some time with your with your pops get out there on the trails and we'll see you next week cheers <laughs>